Melissa. Today I have got another six ways video for you. If you're new to this style of video that I shoot, I essentially show you how to make one recipe and make it six different ways. So far we've done oatmeal, we've done chia pudding, we've done quinoa bowls, and today we are doing overnight oats. And so I'm gonna show you how to make overnight oats six different ways. I'm excited to bring you today's video in partnership with my friends at Bob's Red Mill. They are my go-to supplier for all things oat related because they pretty much have every variety you can think of and they also have gluten-free options. So for me, I personally like to use traditional rolled oats in my overnight oats recipe. Bob's Red Mill sells organic old-fashioned rolled oats that are gluten-free as well as non-organic and they also sell non-gluten-free options. But the great thing about overnight oats is that you can also use quick oats or you could use thick cut rolled oats or you could even use steel cut oats the soaking time just would be a little bit different so if you are interested in checking out any of their oat products I will link that down below for you so like I said we are making six different flavors of overnight oats today there is a blog post that goes along with this video that gives you all of the individual recipes so that's linked down in the description box as well and before we dive in I would love to encourage you to subscribe if you are not yet part of our community here on YouTube there's a red button right below this video that says subscribe all you got to do is tap that button otherwise let's go ahead and dive in so I wanted to start by showing you an overview of what the ingredients for overnight oats are we're using almond milk oats chia seeds and maple syrup this is kind of the base that you will use for any type of overnight oats and then we're going to use this base and make our flavors and the oats that I'm using today are the organic gluten-free old-fashioned rolled oats from Bob's Red Mill all right, so flavor number one is chocolate peanut butter. We are gonna start by adding our oats as well as our cacao powder, our chia seeds, peanut butter, maple syrup, and almond milk into a jar. Then you can just use a spoon to kind of stir it up until all of the ingredients are combined. And then you will pop your lid on the jar and you wanna let this sit for a minimum of two hours, but preferably overnight. You can just pop it in your fridge and overnight it will thicken up. And once it's thickened, it will be nice and ready for you to eat. But of course, we have to do toppings for every single one. So for the chocolate peanut butter one, no surprise, we are gonna do a little bit of coconut yogurt as well as a drizzle of peanut butter. And then I also love doing just a sprinkle of chocolate chips. I have these mini chocolate chips and some cacao nibs to finish it off. It's just like a little bit extra decadence that you can't go wrong with in the morning. And then you can just dig in and enjoy. So this is the chocolate peanut butter version. Version two is our peach pie. We are gonna do our oats into our jar as well as our peaches, chia seeds, cinnamon, vanilla, and maple syrup and then finish that off with your almond milk. You could also use vanilla almond milk if you wanted. And then we will stir that together just like we did the last one, making sure that you get everything as evenly incorporated as you can. Then you can pop your lid on and again, either refrigerate it overnight or chill it for at least two hours and it should thicken up. For topping on our peach pie one, we are gonna do coconut yogurt again. You guys, coconut yogurt is like the best. And then we're gonna add on a few more chopped up peaches and I love to sprinkle it with just a touch of cinnamon and an extra drizzle of maple syrup. And this is our peach pie. It's bright, it's fresh, it's perfect for summer if you have ripe peaches and it's so yummy. Number three is our banana bread and we are going to add our oats into the jar followed by our chia seeds, cinnamon, mashed banana, as well as some walnuts and our maple syrup and almond milk. And then you will, again, like the last couple, just stir this together until it's all incorporated. If you can fit a little bit more almond milk in, like I did here, you can add a little bit more. And then, again, stir it together. And once it's all incorporated, you can just pop the lid on and, again, hit this in your fridge for a good two hours, preferably overnight if you can. And then for topping the banana bread version, I just did the rest of the banana, so sliced banana on top, and then some peanut butter, because you can't go wrong with banana and peanut butter, it's such a good combo, and then some walnuts just for a little bit of extra crunch and healthy fats, and you can dig in and enjoy. Number four is our strawberry shortcake, and we are good again going to add our oats into our jar, followed by our chia seeds, some vanilla extract, our chopped up strawberries, 
and then a little bit of coconut yogurt and some almond milk. And the coconut yogurt is just gonna add a little bit of extra creaminess. You could also do full fat coconut milk in this one. Again, stir it all together until everything is incorporated and combined. Pop your lid on and again, put this in the fridge for another couple hours or minimum overnight. Once it's all set, take it out of the fridge, do another little dollop of coconut yogurt, and then I love to do a little bit of strawberry jam. And then I finish it off with some chopped fresh strawberries and just a tiny bit of granola because it adds that kind of like crumbly, crunchy topping. This one is absolutely delicious. I think you guys are gonna love it, so I hope you try it. Number five is our zucchini chocolate chip. We are gonna add our oats into our jar, followed by our chia seeds. We're also gonna do some shredded zucchini and some chocolate chips and a little bit of maple syrup and our almond milk. And that's it for this one. You can add a little bit of cinnamon if you want it. That would be delicious too. Stir this together and it's really supposed to taste kind of like chocolate chip zucchini bread. It's so yummy. Once it's all stirred together and combined, you can again just pop the lid on and put this in your fridge. Again, same chilling time, minimum two hours, preferably overnight. For serving this one, I like to add a little bit of healthy fats, so I did a drizzle of almond butter, more shredded zucchini, and a few extra chocolate chips, as well as some cinnamon. And this one is really great, and it sneaks in veggies, so you can't beat that one. And last but not least is our high protein version. Again, we're gonna add our oats into our jar, followed by some hemp seeds, chia seeds, a little bit of vanilla protein powder, as well as some almond butter, a little bit of maple syrup, and our almond milk. And this one, depending on the protein powder you use, should have around between 15 and 18 grams of protein, which is great. So again, once your almond milk is in there, just stir it all together and make sure that everything is evenly combined. And then you know what to do, pop that lid on the little jar, stick it in the fridge, and let it chill overnight. Once it is ready to eat, I like to just keep things simple with this one. I just do another extra drizzle of almond butter and then I finish it off with some granola and some hemp seeds. It's so easy, but it's just absolutely delicious. This one is so good, you're gonna love it, especially if you're an almond butter fan. Mmm, delish. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed our overnight oats video. I really love creating these six ways video. I know you guys really like them, but I also just love to be able to show you how to use like a single ingredient and manipulate it, I guess you could say, into a bunch of different recipes. What's great about overnight oats is that they are completely meal prep friendly, so you can keep these in your fridge for at least three to four days, if not longer, and that means you could make a big batch in like on the weekend and then have it all week long, or you could make each of these different flavors and have it each morning. So there are tons of options. As always, I have a blog post that goes along with this video, so I will link that down below in the description box. I also wanna thank Bob's Red Mill for joining us in today's video. They have been one of my longest partners and I absolutely love them. I think they're amazing and I love their oats. So if you're interested in checking out their oat products, I'll link those down below. Like I said, they have certified gluten-free, they have organic, and they have a ton of different styles. So there's pretty much everything that you need right on their website. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not yet part of our community, before you go, please subscribe. There's a red button right below this video that says subscribe. And I also just wanna throw out that if you have any ingredients or types of recipes that you would like me to make six different ways, let me know in the comments and I'll add it to my list. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.